Hello! This message is to Mr. Bill de Blasio, our wonderful, honorable mayor who's doing an excellent job. And I thank you for the wonderful work that you're doing for this city. But Mr. Bloomberg did some horrendous things. He became the mayor for the third term for the specific purposes of stealing people's homes. I know specifically in Brooklyn, he created the marshals to not even have to comply with the order, the law that says that you have to try two times to serve those um, eviction notices. And so they're doing one once once attempt that they allege and they're not doing two attempts and they're executing evictions that have not been properly served. And this and even when Mr. Bloomberg was in office, he had marshals going around evicting stores and they had evicted the wrong address and that wasn't that wasn't an issue because they wanted those those places and so the places that they want like in Flushing and Brooklyn the places that they want they just arbitrarily sent out eviction notices people were not properly served people didn't even know that they had eviction notices until the marshals came to put them out of their places and these things are going on to this day and the judges are so corrupt they're allowing it to happen and when you confront them and ask them can you please comply with the law they're not doing it and I have specific cases that I want you to investigate and find out what is going on and what we can do to work together and make this happen because I have a hundred billion dollar plan to prevent 10 million homes from going into foreclosure, to create 10 million micro businesses while creating 10 million new jobs. And this program is so exciting. As No Fear Millionaire Mental and Financial Wealth Boot Camp Training Program. And I've donated a hundred billion dollar plan to aid and create just what I've just previously stated to save 10 million homes from foreclosure to create 10 million micro businesses and to create 10 million new jobs and this plan is so exciting that they're fighting me so hard that they on May 29th of 2012 the police department specifically the 83rd precinct aided the landlord, Mr. Jeffrey Zagobaum, in filing false criminal charges, obstructing justice, preventing me from having access to my $100 billion program and being able to remove my property, and allowed the landlord to break, disable my equipment, destroy my property, remove my property, and he stole all of my intellectual property. All of my intellectual property was removed from the apartment. And so, in the police department aiding and abetting him, when they came, he called falsely on May 29th of 2012, Mr. Jeffrey Zagobaum, falsely Called 911 after robbing me, knocking me into the wall, almost knocking me down the stairs, and stealing from me the court ordered access. I had court ordered access on May 29th from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. on it, at the year of 2012. And so, in lieu of complying with the court ordered access, Mr. Jeffrey Zagobaum called 911 and reported some false incident. And when the police came on the scene, the police saw 
that Mr. Jeffrey Zagabon was in possession of my property, the court ordered access. They ignored the court ordered access. They ignored the fact that he didn't comply with it. There was a wooden board nailed into the door. So this is his defiance and non-compliance. He was just not going to comply with the law. And the New York City Police Department was going to aid and abet him in doing that. And that slowed down the process from people being able to keep their homes and create jobs. And so 10 million people suffered as a result of me not being able to implement the program. And so we're here today to make it right so that I can get on the board with Make Me Whole. The case is in court. The appellate division is deliberately not making a decision on the case because they want the criminal ability to apply criminal charges for the false arrests and to to run out before they make their decision but the burglary and the theft of felonies and the uh, so there's there's a couple of felonies in there and they don't want to address the issue and everyone's working together in concert to prevent 10 million people from being able to create these micro businesses and create 10 million new jobs and to save 10 million homes from foreclosure. And so we need a plan of action. We need an investigation. We need the Department of Investigation to work for the people. And you are a mayor that is for the people. And so we're so happy to have you. And I look forward to working with you and making our city a wonderful, prosperous city for everyone. Empowering people with the program No Fear Millionaire, creating 10 million new No Fear Millionaires. And together, working together, we can make great things happen. And so I look forward to working with you. And anyone who's ready to join the program, you just go to No Fear millionaire.com that's www.nofearmillionaire.com and you can register for the program you don't have to be in foreclosure to register for the program it's, you can register for the regular program and the regular program no fear millionaire mental and financial wealth boot camp training program we're creating recreating and rebuilding America's mental and financial wealth with the highest level of integrity. You can be a millionaire and you don't have to rob, kill, or destroy to become one. So, I look forward to seeing my city, our city, benefit from No Fear Millionaire Mental Wealth Boot Camp Training Program. Remember, www.nofear Millionaire.com And watch the program Award winning That's right I'm the award winner Of the Wow Factor Award On my weekly cable television show Which you can watch Over the internet Every Monday morning at 9am That's right That's a heart attack preventer Get excited about your life Get excited about life And check out the program Every Monday morning 9am No fear Millionaire Lifestyle TV You need to pick me up You need to be seeds planted in you And help to grow the seeds that you've already planted So stay on the right track Continue building your wealth with the highest level of integrity. And let's rebuild our mental and financial wealth with integrity. We can do this. We as a people can make this happen.